Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Evan McPherson has this one teed up. And with the terrible towels waving wildly, we are underway from Pittsburgh. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. zero and this is not the way to start a drive it didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game did it we always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry the officials did as well so a little bit of a stiffer challenge now first and 15 following the delay of game throwing first play is Pickett flushed out right that ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator that showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Looking to throw, pick it. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Able to find his man, it's Pickens. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool, he looks calm, he looks collected in marching them down the field. And Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now pick it. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Steven Sims from three yards out. And the Steelers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Burrow in 
the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 16. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. A first carry here for Joe Mixon. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Charles, already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense, but I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Here we go. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight, Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field, and he wasn't letting the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. Three yards remain for second down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 19. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Buying time to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. going to give this to Mixon. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter. 7-0 ball game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown Cincinnati. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. 
But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. First and ten, here's Pickett. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. On first and ten, it's Pickett. That swung out wide to Harris. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Pick it to throw on first down. It's brought in by Harris. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And this heads straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. No, nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. Pick it, back to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force him both down? Boswell's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7.
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. To throw again on second down. Burrow. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bucs set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either, so certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. First down, here's Burrow. Flush to his right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Zero turnovers in this game so far. The trend continues, but barely. Offense lucky that that one went out of bounds. Yeah, they're very fortunate because when a game's going along like this one and neither side has turned the ball over, sometimes that first one can really... Now Burrow loses the football, and it's picked up by the Steelers, and they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. So the opposite of what they envisioned when they left that locker room, a turnover on the opening drive of this third quarter. I like your identification there because that's exactly what they discussed in the locker room before they came out on the field. Let's get the ball. Let's go down and score. Put some points on the board and feel good about it. Not an insurmountable lead, but definitely not how they saw it at halftime. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. He finds his man complete. It's Harris. And they'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. 
Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? To the air on first down with Pickett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and 10. It's Pickett again. A throw left side caught by the tight end, Fryermuth. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. Here's Pickett. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now. Those are precious, so you have to learn from those and in a hurry. The Bengals drive about to get going. And the last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Here's Steven Sims on the return from his end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. 
Pick it a look to throw it here. And this throw incomplete. I have a defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Third and two, pick it. He finds his man complete. That's Harris. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They'll throw again with Pickett. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. He finds his man complete. That's Harris. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. But it's intercepted. They got Pickett for the third time in this game. And the Bengals will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Turnover that just got him the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, then? No, I don't think, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do, so now, almost like, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. Wear down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Here we go. Looking to pass. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Now it's Burrow being chased out left. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. The Bengals bring out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return is Olszewski. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. 
Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Pick it now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He finds his man complete. It's Harris. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. Flushed out right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. From the gun, here's Pickett. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Pickett. Touchdown! George Pickens from 21 yards away. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there, and there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. And another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And again, here's P. Ryan. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Burrow. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. 
That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Pick it to throw. And the catch made by Johnson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Now Pickett. That's going to be caught by Pickens. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looking to throw here. Pick it. Flush to his right. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 here we go. the Bengals drive about to get going we have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now Burrow, rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. To throw, Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Only needing two yards on second down. Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 
That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. And a great game comes down to this. Time for one play, and they've got to get it in the end zone. And I want every cover guy I've got in the game on defense. Every extra defensive back who can make a play on the football. So whether it's nickel, dime, quarter, whatever you want to call it, I want five, six, seven guys back there. A final shot now for Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outst an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. A little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one-touchdown swing. It was a multiple-touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers earn the win at home as we say so long from Pittsburgh.